Hi, this is a very popular question and I'm going to try to tackle it today. It goes over what's the difference between exogenous and endogenous variables. So I'm going to try to keep this in very simple terms. First, exogenous means that it's determined outside of the model. And these are my definitions. If you look it up in the textbook, you'll probably get something different, but this is how I remember them. So exogenous, determined outside of the model. Endogenous, guess, determined within the model. So again, what does that mean? If something, if something is exogenous, we pretty much have to make up a value for it or do some research, find a value for it, and then plug it into our model. For the most part, it's going to be fixed or not changing in our model. For endogenous, it's determined within the model. We're using our model to find a value for this endogenous variable. So I want to use endogenous and exogenous in an example for when we construct our demand curve. So here we draw our typical graph, price and quantity. We have our demand curve. Here, just looking at this graph, you can see that quantity or price is going to be the endogenous variable. One of these variables is determined by the other. Which one is endogenous? We don't really know and that's kind of the complicated thing with economics but I'm going to tell you why we don't know. First, a demand function can be written as Q equals A plus BP, where A and B are just coefficients, they're just numbers, and P is our price. Here, Q is a function of price, so price would be exogenous and Q would be endogenous. Our model is telling us what Q is, and our model tells us that Q equals A plus B times P. And A and B can be any numbers. But what's tricky about economics is that you can mess with this equation and get an inverse demand function. So if we subtract A from both sides and then divide by P, we get Q minus A divided by P are divided by B equals P. So now we're saying that price is endogenous and Q is exogenous because P is determining or Q is determining what our P is. Our quantity is telling us what P is whereas up here our price is telling us what quantity is. So we don't really know which is endogenous or exogenous unless we have the function that goes with it. But if you have these variables on your graph, one of them is going to have to be endogenous. What we do know for an absolute fact is that certain things are going to be exogenous, such as income. Income is held fixed in this line, and we know this because if income changes, we're going to shift our demand curve, either left or right, depending on if income goes up and down. What else is exogenous? Tastes and preferences. number of buyers, perhaps wealth, or prices of related goods. All of these things are going to be exogenous to the model because if they change we have to shift this curve. So typically we're just going to have one endogenous variable determined by the model and many, many exogenous variables, but you don't know for sure which one's going to be endogenous until you get that mathematical function.